Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Captain of Industry, one of my favorite games. Let's uh, unpause it and get jump on in here. Between episodes, I built another belt to take our rubber uh, from our rubber factory over here all the way, all the way, all the way. Way far across the land here to where we're doing the... Um, uh, electronic parts production over here, electronics. So that's all belted. I over, for the most part, I overlap the electronics belt that's going in the other direction. Uh, there's places where I could not overlap, so I can maybe fix this and make this look better. But there are places I could not stack the belt on top because the lower belt is actually somewhat sliding down the hill. So that's actually higher in the game's understanding than, than it looks. So I couldn't build a belt on top of this here. But so yeah, once this one is built for the rubber, then maybe I'll start adjusting this one over. Both of these belts are somewhat ter um, temporary. Once we do the terraforming or more terraforming, we'll probably place these and have them look neat. We may even move the rubber factory at some point once we start importing oil. This episode, we want to do a couple things. We want to get the ship out and we want to finish the research here on the cargo depot. Let's just take a quick look at the lab. Let me hit play here so we can move things forward. Okay, looks like we have plenty of parts for our research labs. I don't think we can boost these anymore. I don't know if we used to. Seems like we used to be able to boost them. Maybe not. So that all looks good. We've got a backlog of lab parts. Um, we have lots of vehicle parts. That all looks good. What are we doing on construction parts? Construction part twos, well, we can see over here on the far right, 169, construction part ones, 217. Not bad, we've got room for more storage. What are we doing on iron and that? Uh, it's okay, not great. Okay, not great. All right, these guys, we've got three excavators chewing away. We'll see, we can add a fourth one if we need to. This belt, by the way, that I put down, um, it is going to prevent us from being able to deploy excavators out of this particular vehicle depot. I have it paused right now uh, just to free up the workers. But yeah, we will not be able to get excavators pretty much anywhere unless we start putting down ramps. There is a kind of a, a clever way to teleport them. It looks, yeah, there's no path. Yeah, there's a path here, I guess. If we wanted to put another excavator over on the dirt, whoops, it would have to go all the way around because <laughs> I can't go under any belts. Go all the way around here and then find its way to the dirt. We may actually need to do that because we need to clear out this space. But let's, um, that all looks good. Supplies look good. Water looks good. We got tons, tons over there. Uh, yeah, we just need to keep an eye on the iron and the coal, it looks like. Let's uh, do a quick check. Yeah, I wish these were all full bins of coal. Let's see what's going on over here. Do these guys have enough stuff to mine? They do. And what are they getting? Are they getting... That one's got... S Why do these have slag? That guy's got rock. That's an odd place to, for a truck with slag to appear. Because slag... Oh, you know what happened here? That truck has slag because of what's happening right here. These guys are dumping right where these guys are digging. So that's uh, not terribly productive. Let's change the dump designations. It's these two right here that need to come off. We're dumping in the active mining area, which is not, not too bright, guys. Not too bright. So that was worth checking. Just make sure we don't have anything else, any designations that are kind of overlapping the mining area. This is going to collapse in a bit. But uh, hopefully, we'll be all right with this ramp for the time being. And they, yeah, now they're starting to dump over here instead of back into the mine. <laughs> okay, that looks good. Terraforming is going underway here. These guys are probably just getting rock. I wonder if I should toggle the um, for the trucks to only leave full. Not sure if we should do like this guy. What what are you doing with one little nugget of coal making a trip? That seems odd. Let's do that. Let's experiment with this. 
Um, allow partially loaded trucks. It says if this is enabled and there are no jobs in the queue, trucks can be assigned delivery jobs that don't necessarily utilize their cargo capacity fully. This makes logistics more responsive in the early phases of your island. However, later on, it's reasonable to disable this to save fuel costs. Let's do it. Let's disable that. We'll see if it chokes off our supply. But that'll save fuel. And then in exchange for having trucks less mobile, let's... um. Let's add a few more to the fleet. I'm going to queue up like four trucks here. Uh, I should probably do them in the other depot, actually. Can we cancel these? Because we have parts right next to that depot and the trucks can go anywhere they want. While I'm over here, let's pause this one and save the workers. Boom. That frees up six workers for us. Unpause this guy. And then we'll queue up those four trucks. Five trucks. Uh, five is fine. And now let's see where the ship's at in terms of its uh, up armoring and all that. Okay, the oil rig. Click to fetch the required materials. Start loading the ship. Oil rig. Is this for the repair? It might be. Okay, all cargo loaded for the oil rig. Sawmill. Click to fetch. Oh, they're going to only let us do one or the other. All right, let's go out to the oil rig. Looks like we have the armor plating. That's on. I can't do more. Uh, we have the front and rear guns. And is there more armor? Oh, there's more armor. Let's do that. Let's get this armored up. Uh, tell you what. I think we can go fix the oil rig without taking it to the pirates. So let's do that. Uh, that's this guy. Deliver cargo. What about this one? Deliver cargo. How does this not have any cargo yet? Let's go check again. Thought we had something loaded. Oil rig. All required cargo is loaded. Doesn't seem like it, does it? Hmm. I don't see it. Oh, that's the shipyard. Let's look at the ship. Yeah, we have 200 construction parts. This says we're good to go at the oil rig. We go to the map. That's the oil rig. Deliver cargo. Not enough crew. Hmm. How, what could that be? We have 55 free workers. Did I click on something to empty the crew? Load crew. Okay, now we're going to be good. I didn't even remember disembarking the crew. Okay, now we're good. Let's send our ship out. We'll repair the oil rig. We may go for it and just uh, see if we can take on these pirates. Now that we've got some weapons on the ship, looks pretty sweet. We don't have all the armor we could have, but we have some. So we'll send that guy out and get that going. We have a ton of pirates to go after. Boom, boom. I don't know that um, we'll be able to get them all with the level of guns we have now. There are more guns coming, I believe, in the tech tree. Let's see if we can spy those. Are they near the top? There's the bridge for the ship. Engine upgrade, it looks like. Ship weapons, too. Well, that's quite a ways away. So we'll see how many we can clear, but at least we can get to work clearing those nodes. Uh, okay, it looks like Cargo Depot is done. Dismiss. Let's think about bringing oil in. And I think this farm, unfortunately, is going to have to go. I'm just going to fairly unceremoniously kill that thing and get it out of our way. Let's see if we can place a cargo depot. Boom. This is always tricky. These are tricky to place. Um, but there is a, there is a technique. <laughs> I want to see if I can do it over here. I don't think I can. Oh, will that take? No. Some parts need to be in the ocean. Don't think it's going to let me put one here. Collision with the trading dock. Yeah, I think we're just, that's not an option. Yeah, we could probably terraform this land to make it more conducive. But here, I know we can place it over here. Let's see. There we go, right there. Let's take it. Get that constructed. That'll be our first cargo depot. And on top of this, or attached to this, we need modules. 
We're going to start bringing in oil, I believe. So let's do fluid modules. I think we can just snap these on. One and two. We'll get those built. And then this is fuel for the ship. Hmm. Fuel for the ship. I think we're going to do diesel production over here. Okay, tree harvester has no trees to harvest. Let's wait for that to get constructed. We'll pick some more trees to harvest. Oh, man. We don't have a lot of trees left. It's a little concerning. But I think we can trade for wood, and we're going to be able to import wood before too long. Okay, there's that. Let's go check on the ship. Okay, we've got... We have a bunch of workers, 36 workers pumping oil. I'm going to bring this down to just, I guess, halfway is my only choice. 18 workers, because uh, we don't have 36 to give to this right now. And then, oh, our ship came all the way back. All right, let's see. I was hoping it would stay out there and we could just go take the enemy on. But since it's back, let's see if we can get this thing up armored. Okay, it's fully fueled, fully staffed. Uh, looks like we're still waiting on delivery for the armor. Let's load the ship for the sawmill and go make that trip. Loading the required materials. Hopefully that won't take long. I thought we had them here already. Maybe not. 20. Do they have to bring these in? Yeah, I guess we gotta just let that run. Let's take a look real quick at iron and coal. Iron is still having problems. And coal's okay, not great. We're gonna have to get more workers on this stuff, apparently. I'd like to see those filled up. Got an excavator here that's waiting on a truck. That's not a good sign. Let's add a truck or two to that. Mining operation. It's way over here. Boy, it's got it has a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine now. Dirt is a problem. How about this guy. We should be getting a lot of dirt because I turned off the ability to use dirt as fill. I think just about everywhere. Let's check it all. This guy, yep, cannot dump dirt. Um, the default, where would that be? Yeah, the default is rock, slag, and waste. No dirt. Let's check the other designations. This guy, yep, no dirt. This guy, no dirt. And what about even the one far, far away? Yeah, no dirt. So all the dirt that we're... Mining should be being used for those bricks. Why oh, even this guy's short on coal? Hmm. May need to scale up these operations here. We could... Got an excavator sitting. Yeah, these guys are waiting on trucks. Seems like trucking is the issue, right? Let's do it. Two more there. I guess we could add... An excavator here. We have one just sitting here idle. Might as well put it to use. We have a new mining designation for the iron, so these guys are digging down. Occurs to me, maybe we should fill in this area. Let's see. Uh, is that a fill designation? I can't tell. That might be just mining. Let's see if I can overlay a fill designation on there at level one. Flat. Maybe they can fill this area in too. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. So maybe the trucks will help. Nervous, a little nervous on the dirt. Don't like seeing that empty. We have a lot of dirt. Um... A little concerning. We could put another excavator on this. Um, but what do we need? We're using those bricks mostly for construction parts. And 
we're doing pretty darn good on construction parts. Maybe we don't need to worry about it too much. Okay, is the ship out there? Let's see. Uh, sawmill. No. Did, oh, is it still loading parts, right? 20. What's going on here, fellas? Maybe that trucking thing did hurt us, although it says stable for trucking. Loading required materials, 180 of those. We have a ton, right? It's construction part twos. No. Oh, you know what's chewing up all the construction part twos, right? This big monster belt. <laughs> this monster, monster conveyor belt is chewing up all of our construction part twos. Oh, well, it's going to pay it for itself, I think, in terms of saving diesel and um, increasing the amount of trucks we have that are able to move resources around without having to travel the entire map. So yeah, we're paying a little bit of a price for that. Unity is on the decline, but we still have 47. I'll take it. We can turn off these boosts and do things a little different. Right now we're saving some electricity by doing it the way we have it. Maintenance looks okay at 97%. Um, I guess we just have to wait. Could speed up time. Let's see what else we have that we could actually be building or planning out. Do we have the diesel production? We actually get started on this. We do. This is going to be a little bit of trial and error. And I've debated whether doing this on camera or off camera. Got two stages of distillation. Let's look at this. While stuff is building, we'll just leave it at regular play speed or whatever. I think food is fine, right? Food's got to be like super duper fine. Yeah, look at all this loaded loaded with vegetables. This whole row is loaded with vegetables. And then we've got tons of storage. So those farms can stay doing what they're doing. And we saw we have plenty of water. So we don't need to worry about that. Wood I'm a little nervous about. Can we get wood if we had to? Let's see. We cannot get wood from these guys. We don't need food. Can we get wood from these guys? We can. We could trade rubber. That's not a great trade, but we could do it. We can get chickens too. Interesting. That's new to me. I haven't I haven't played with those. All right. Oil production. What are we gonna do? Oil's gonna be crude oil's gonna get, come in here. Be imported into these two storage modules. We'll get 220 storage out of each. I want to put a storage array of liquid containers here, fluid storage, a bunch of them here. Don't want to do it right now though, because we're a little tight on construction materials, at least the construction part twos. But we can lay out the diesel, the actual diesel production. Distillation stage one. Okay, the entry point for advanced crude oil processing separates oil into two components for additional processing into useful resources. And then we've got this one. So this guy gives us, we have to input steam. So we're going to need a boiler, which I think we, I think we have that. Where would that be? Yeah, there's a boiler. It takes coal. Yeah, eventually we're going to want to belt coal somehow. Across the island, actually. Oh, man. Yeah, we probably want to do that. Maybe not right this minute, but that's probably something we need to think about soon. Yeah, we put in steam, we put in the crude oil, we get out medium oil, heavy oil, and sour water. Sour water, I think we can dump initially. And then that doesn't get us any diesel. We have to go to distillation stage two, take that medium oil, more steam. That's going to get us diesel and light oil. And what do we do with the light oil? Hmm. The light oil and the heavy oil we need a process for is, where would that be? Okay, that's the basic distiller to get us diesel out of just oil and coal. Oil pump. Hmm. Smokestack. 
and this guy. Yeah, so I think initially we have to burn off this heavy oil and this light oil. Produces air pollution, but later on, we're going to be able to process that. I don't think we have the ability to process that right out of the gate. Take a look at the tech tree and just see if there's something here coming. We got power generations underway right now. Edicts coming next, and then pipes. Smart conveyor routing and housing level two. Don't seem to be, oh, this smart con, oh, conveyor routing. We have the transport balancing. That might come in handy with what we're doing right now. Conveyor routing, I haven't used that before. That may come in handy. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like it's urgent. Reconstruction efficiency. Uh, deconstruction returns 10% more products back. Includes vehicle de deconstruction as well. Research lab two are better. Well, that's not bad. It's kind of a interesting one. Storage level twos, vehicle management, that we're going to want. I'm looking for anything that has to do with the uh, oil processing. So I'm just walking through these. <clears throat> Settlement power. I think this gets us more unity, but we're fine on unity for now. Edicts two, quarantine growth boost. Yeah, more ways to just manage the colony. Wheat farming. I think in the end, this gets us more um, unity. I'm looking at these for the first time. Animal feed. Yeah, we're going to be able to raise chickens, apparently. Baking bread. Who doesn't love bread? This digester gets us compost, and I think we can use that compost just like dirt. We may need to throw it down on the ground first and then pick it back up um, if we wanted to use it for bricks. But if we want to plant farms, we can drop a layer of compost on top of slag or trash or whatever, and I think plant a farm on top of it. That's how it used to work last time I played. So that's not a bad one to get. Where are we? Wheat farming? That's with wheat farming. Interesting. All right. The burner. Oh, we get a new recipe for the burner. We have a burner now, right? Or no, we have a flare. And then a burner will take trash. Hmm. Why would you want to burn the trash? I guess just to save the time of hauling it, maybe? It's kind of nice for Phil using this trash for Phil, but maybe there's a reason not to do that. All right, while I'm dialing here, we just got power generation researched. Let's keep checking out the tech tree here, though, for a minute or 20. Looking for what the next phase of oil processing is, or what we want to kind of go for. Okay, we saw the cinema power edicts, corn farming, organic fertilizer, that gets us the digester, or makes use of the, oh no, this is the mixer. Make fertilizer, turn animal feed into compost, turn biomass into compost, not sure where the biomass comes from. Oh man, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot here. Gas combustion. Okay, here's a way where we can use heavy oil and the medium oil and the light oil to generate steam as long as we have a good supply of water. That's kind of neat, right? So we could feed these materials back in to our diesel processing that we're about to set up. Okay, food market two just holds more, I imagine. Steel smelting, that's coming. Construction parts three. Oof. Logistics control, custom routes, edicts. Bigger depots, sulfur processing. Larger vehicles, belts two. Recycling, what will this take? Recyclables, I think this might come out of the lab, research lab, I'm not sure though. Uh, maintenance depot. A new recipe, mechanical parts plus electronics gets us maintenance and recyclables. So recyclables will come out of our maintenance buildings as well. And then we can turn that into iron scrap, copper scrap, gold scrap, and broken glass. And I imagine those can be turned into their, you know, iron plates and all that kind of stuff. Purifier fuel station to copper refinement to another way to make use of acid to generate copper. Fertilizers, 
This also has a chemical plant, hydrogen, nitrogen for ammonia, water recovery. Oh, cooling towers. Yeah, I remember those. All right, we're taking a walk down here at this massive tech tree. Map the processing. Well, that's as far as we need to go, right? It's going to be a while before we can do make use of those byproducts, the heavy oil and the light oil. Not until, where was it? Now I can't even find it where that was, where we could make use of those to generate steam. Here it is, gas combustion. That's not a bad thing to grab. Advanced diesel, biofuel's not a bad idea either. Um, let's get this added to the queue. This could be compelling for us in the short term, I think. All right, let's check on the ship. I think we're, that belt is kind of killing our production. Let's see how that's doing. Looks like it's mostly done. Are we getting rubber? How much electricity does this use? Uh, we're short one worker. Looking for rubber. Let's go down further. Again, I'll get these. I may get these to stack on top of each other. I can. I just need to move the electric parts over. Hey, there's our rubber going. Not the fastest belt in the world, but it'll catch up. And it's saving all of our trucks from having to make that long trip. And it acts like its own little warehouse, right? So these will empty out. It'll be a little harder for us to tell if we're coming up short, but that'll do. Three workers short. Boy, that's after killing off one of our farms, too. What could be chewing up workers? Food we know looks fantastic. Housing looks great. Let's go adopt some folks. Boom, we'll take 10 more people. That solves our worker problem. Oh, you know what's taking up the workers? The oil rig took up 18. Oil is being stored. We can actually go retrieve this oil and probably will with our main ship. Let's see. We have that cargo loaded. No, we still only have 20. Oh, man. Fuel tank, that's probably later. How are we doing over here on construction part twos? See electronics coming in. We don't have as many as I'd like. Love to see this backed up. We may need to ramp up that production. Okay, that guy's churning them out. This one's waiting on electronic parts. Let's just uh, double check that production too. We Are we not getting the coal? Well, looks like it's... This guy's firing. These guys look good. Those guys. Yeah, production looks like it's firing. I think we're just behind on just from bl blowing through so many construction part twos to build that belt. I think we're gonna we're gonna recover on our own. Dirt looks horrible. I'm nervous about dirt. Oh man, I'm jumping all over the place. Sorry about that. All right, let's start doing the oil processing stuff. Put this down and just start playing with it. See what we can do. I want a lot of room over here for storage. Storage of the crude and storage of the finished diesel. So let's just plunk this down anywhere. Um, outputs. Just thinking how we're going to do stuff. Steam. That's not bad. Let's pop that down. We, we may move this later. I, it would take me forever to plan it out perfect, I think. So we know we're going to have a boiler and we're going to have to bring coal in. And water as well. Let's 
plunk that guy down and let's look at what this is going to produce 48 steam every 28 every every 60 seconds 48 steam this guy only needs nine of that steam and i kind of want to mirror image this as if i can this guy's going to kick out 48 medium oil per minute that's going to tax our little level one pipes. Do we have the level two pipes? Let's see. Pipe 60. Throughput is 60. Edix is being researched. We, we're going to need level two pipes in order for me to double this production up and share pipes. Pipes two is the next thing that's going to be researched. Hmm. No way to speed it up, is there? I probably could have waited on the edicts. Uh, let's speed up time. You can even go triple speed. Kind of want these pipes. We can go with the level one pipes and then um, I'm going to bring it down to double speed. We'll go with level one pipes and we'll just plan to upgrade them. But I think I want mirror image on these. It won't work with level ones, but it will work once we get to level twos. Something like this. Leave a little room. Okay. And then distillation stage two is actually going to take the, the, what was that? Medium. Yeah. The medium oil and steam also. So steam nine per minute. That's 18, and then this guy wants six. So one boiler should be fine for all of our steam needs. Let's go back a bit. Yeah, it's the first time building this, so we'll see. First time in a long time, I should say. Um, can I flip this way? That's what I want. Boom. So then we have our medium oil coming out of here and into here. Let's pipe that. We'll use these level one pipes, then we're going to upgrade them later. So I'm going to go like this. Okay, this becomes a waste product, right? For now, that is our heavy oil. Later, we're going to be able to use that to generate steam. And the light oil is also a waste product. I think we can flare those off. Where might that be? Yeah, the light oil and the heavy oil, we can flare off. These flares, oh, they do take a worker. They could do 60 per minute. Right. No, they can do. Wait a second. What does that say here? 36 a minute. They can do 36 of the light oil. So we have light oil coming out of here. It's going to be 12 and 12. So they could share a flare if we can find a way to route the pipes without going crazy. Hmm. We're going to have a pipe of steam coming in through here. Let's see how we can do that one. This is going to take a little finagling to get this for sure. These are a little snug. Should have put these one more apart. Yeah, I think they have to move down one. Because they're not... I'd like to have this pipe that's going to carry steam. I'd like to have that right in the middle. One level high, and then kind of piping that steam down into these two. So let's do that. Let's tear this one up. Pause the game. Yeah, this just... Has to be done slow. I should have done one of those at a time. This is 
distillation too. We want I think we were going with this design. And just one more over, right? That and then another one. There. Hey, you go. You go. Hit play. Okay, now I can do a raised pipe here, I believe. This will do. I think we'll try it. That's steam coming in. And steam. Incompatible port at the stop. Start. Why is that? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. You can kind of see what I'm trying to do here. Just trying to route steam into these two. I'm gonna go a little extra far. I wanted these up, so let's pull that back. I wanted that up a level. wasting some materials by not doing this in planning mode, but I kind of want the tech tree to keep moving forward too. I mean, I guess it would in planning mode. We could do it. Um, there's really no reason not to do this in planning mode, I suppose. Okay, this pipe, does it just need to change direction? What is the problem? What am I missing here? That's not exhaust, right? That's steam coming in. You need steam. Oh, is it steam high, steam low kind of thing? No, steam high. Steam high. Why won't these pipes go together? Missing something. See the arrow going this direction. That looks right. What am I missing? Let's see what it tells me again. Oh, uh, looks like I took it that time. Okay. Sour water, I think we have to dump. Let's see what that's all about. Liquid dump, sour water, yep. That needs to make its way out to shore. Be nice if we could get that higher up. Let's see. Get rid of pipe weaving here. I'm going to go. Let's 
see if they'll hook into this. They may not. Okay. I'm okay with that. This I want to go up, up and out of here. I want to see if I can get this guy to snap in somewhere. Eh, it's fine. You can snap in like that if you want. Will you do it? Far? Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Trim off this excess, which we don't need. Uh, that's all right. And you need to make your way all the way to the coast. At least a couple high. Before we put you down, let's put the liquid dump. Okay, that's as close as we can get it. Let's get it as far out as we can. Let's try that. Okay, and you will take up to 60 per minute. I think that's going to be fine for our waste. This one's going to get us 18 a minute, and this one's going to get us, yeah, same thing. These two, this guy's already ready to do some work. Um, okay, let's get this pipe out there. We're researching pipes too, so we gotta come through here and upgrade all these in a minute. Assuming they don't take construction part threes. And hopefully trucks can get through underneath this thing. It's only one notch high, I'm not sure. Excavators won't be able to. That's all right. Ship access is blocked. Why is that? Recover ocean access. Not enough unity. What? Ship access is blocked. Is that literally this guy causing the problem? Let's see if I take it out. Yep. Okay, we can't have it quite where we had it. Same thing. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. It'd be nice if it showed us that ahead of time, but it doesn't seem to. Okay. Are you happy now? Yes. That'll do. Limits our ability to terraform in this area a bit, but that's no big deal. Can always be moved later on. How are we doing on research? Yeah, it's going to take a minute for that to complete. Okay, there's that. Our cargo dock is slowly getting built. It's going to take more crew, probably once this thing is... Uh, up and running or fully built. Then we need crew for this, for all these oil machines. Let's uh, look at the trading dock. Can we recruit some more peeps? Six more, we'll do it. All right, let's take a look at everything. We gotta, so I've left things running, things have gone awry. Okay, Unity's in a bad spot. So let's unboost some stuff. Okay, clicking the wrong buttons here. Unpause that guy. Remove the boost. Remove the boost. 
unpause this one. Unpause you and unpause you. Diesel's actually good here, so I actually am going to pause this again. Sorry. I'll use the pause tool. That might be a little faster. You, you, and you can stay paused. Rubber production, I think, is okay. We've got plenty of diesel. We have plenty of diesel. I'll unboost you. Shown we have four surplus workers. We're still pumping here, so we're producing a little bit of rubber, but it's going to be slowed down. Let's go check the other side of that belt and see how we're doing on rubber. Yeah, we're backed up, so that's fine. We can go a little bit light on the rubber production. We have water here, which is good. Okay, liquid dump has no recipe selected. Let's clear that one. It's going to be sour water. For now, boom. Research lab has not enough unity. Okay, that should fix itself here in a second. Let's fix the maintenance depots over here. We'll take off that boost and turn on another one of these. We're going to go two more. And then I'm going to take down a farm. Let's pause this guy. That gets us workers here for the short term. We don't have problems with food right now. Okay, I've got a mine control tower that needs new designations. So let's do that one next. I think we can see it. Let's see if we can chew this back. Um, tell you what, let's get these main guys working on the big, the big hill full of iron because we saw we're we're a little light on iron. Let's get a new designation down. We'll just stay at level one flat. And just chew all of this back to level one. We can clear out this entire designation over here. Um, and we'll make it, I'm going to make it a fill designation here in a second. Eh, it can probably stay. I think that's a fill. And move the area for this guy. Take on the new work. Boom. I think that covers it. Let's just double check. Yeah, I think that's everywhere they need to dig. We'll find out in a second. They're all moving. Chew away. We'll get a little bit of dirt out of that too. Dirt's not looking good. Coal's looking okay. Yeah, we've got a little bit of coal. Could be improved, that's for sure. Diesel, we've got decent supplies on that. Okay, what else we have? Tree harvester doesn't have any trees. Look at this, man. We're almost out of trees. That's a problem. Oh, man. All right, I think we're going to be okay. I think, think, think positive. Dismiss that. How's the ship doing? Did you get your parts? Nope. Oh man, still waiting on parts. Let's just double check here, see what the holdup is. Looks like it's electronics still. That guy's burning through it. This guy's waiting on electronics. Let's double check the electronics production and see if there's more to it than just being backed up. We saw there's plenty of rubber here. Copper, this looks like it's running. It's just our production is not able to meet the scale of the stuff we've been building. Dude, I still think it's going to back up or we're going to get a surplus here. Got plenty of copper. Don't need to worry about mining designations here. I do only <laughs> have a single excavator, but I only have a single furnace burning too. These guys don't have to make a super long trip. Could actually put up loose storage here and a belt, and that would actually make things a little faster. Let's just watch this for a second and see if the excavator sits waiting on a truck or not. 
I suppose I should have a fill designation nearby. I probably don't. Let's see. Um, do I? Yeah, I don't. Um, we could ramp down. We're waiting for this to get chewed up. That's going to take a long time. Should probably have a fill designation just so these trucks don't have to drive so far when they're ready to dump rock. Let's do kind of a fill ramp here. Um, something like... How would we do this? Let's see. Level... Plus one. No, plus ten. Okay, I was going to say. We're higher than plus one. So plus ten out to here. Okay, plus 10, and then once you're there, just ramp me down to plus one. Okay, if they have dirt, they're still gonna have to make the trek, so I'm saving the dirt. But if they find rock in this hill, which they probably, I would guess they, since this isn't all 100% copper, then they can dump that rock down close by without having to traverse the map to the nearest dumping designation, which is way out here. So that should help that a little bit. Uh, pipes 2 is still being researched. Waiting on parts for the ship. I'd like to get that sawmill fixed. One thing we could do in the meantime, we could send our ship out. How are we doing on diesel? Pretty good. We could send our ship out to the oil rig just to take in this oil. So let's do, I think, load cargo. Will that send him off or not? Yep. We'll bring a big load of crude oil back here. We can process. Waiting on construction parts for this stuff. What do we need to do? We've routed the steam in for everybody. We've routed the sour water out to be dumped, we need to flare off this, these waste products. If I can get them out of here somehow, and I think they can share a flare and then we need to bring coal, the oil in, man, a lot to do, a lot to do, a lot of pipes with this stuff. I think in the real world too, it's the same thing. All right, you, can you, How could we do this? Stay low. Okay, R, I don't want to connect to anything. Bear with me, this may start out looking kind of strange. Yeah, I don't think I can hop that pipe straight. I'm just gonna try it. Love just to hop this thing straight up, but I don't think they're gonna let me no matter what I do. If I start back here even and go straight across, yeah, they're going to make me kind of go to the side. Um, what about... I'm just working on looks right now. That's what this is. Bear with me. Bear with me. I want to see if I can run a pipe here elevated and then connect kind of off back away and connect into it somehow and do the same thing on that side and have it look symmetric and not so squirrely in between here. I think there's a way to make this look a little better. 
Uh, we have an extra little nugget of pipe here. Might as well pull that out while I'm doing my destruction. I know I'm kind of wasting materials a little bit doing this. Okay, remove. Unity is it's barely in the positive. What else is chewing up my unity? I thought I got rid of all my boosts, or most of them. Let's just scan real quick for boosts. This guy's boosted. What else? We have two labs running. We could pause one of those if we want to save Unity. I'm looking for the little boosted sign. I don't see it. Let's see what he says here. Uh, we're taking a hit on air pollution. Water pollution. Food variety, we're getting a little bit of a boost. Oh, the oil rig. Yeah, those take... um. Let's take Unity to run. I forgot. It's not just the crew for the offshore oil rigs and that. Bummer. All right, back to the pipe craziness. What do I want to do? Delete you. I want to run our pipe too high here. Yeah, I cannot get away from that. It's going to want to wiggle to hop this pipe. It's going to have to move over. Bummer. That's what I was trying to avoid. Um, about can't beat them, join them approach. Let's try this. I want something symmetric looking, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm going to this trouble. Why does that one look so different? Because the support is in the way? <laughs> All right, mission accomplished. I'm going to call that mission accomplished. Those are symmetric. And we got done what we wanted to do. It looks a little silly, but it's symmetric. We'll take it. I just wanted to do that for the challenge of it. I think that's going to work just fine. We don't need that little end. Okay, this is stuff we want to burn off, right? This is the heavy oil. Yeah, we already got rid of the... Sour water. We have the medium oil rotted down the middle into the second stage of distillation. That's going to get us our diesel. So we're burning off the heavy oil for now. Later, we're going to turn this heavy oil into steam. But for now, we're going to burn it off in a flare somewhere. Let's see. You. We could even nestle you over here. Although I might be jamming things in more than I need to. You can go, you can go. See the downside. Uh, I might be able to hook up another pipe to that. Yeah, it looks like it's at ground level. All right. This guy, does it need a recipe? You're taking heavy oil right now. You will grab, what is it? What happened? Oh, it accepts everything. Okay. Takes 24 per minute. What do you guys put out? Six and six. Yeah, that should be fine. Even boosted. It'll take all of that. Okay, we're complaining about workers. I've already killed a farm. Okay, better coal. A boiler needs a transport to output the exhaust. Fine. We got our boiler here. We haven't hooked that up yet. Uh, we can put a smokestack there, though, to stop it from crying.
Okay, that accepts everything. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Workers. We were going to look at workers. Food we know is in fantastic shape. Even though it says 15 months, we have a lot more than that. Let's adopt some folks. Do we have the unity yet? Nope. Nope, not yet. Can't do it. We can turn the beacon on. Let's do that. 18 refugees in less than 11 months. Uh, if push comes to shove, I'll shut down another farm. We don't really need the workers at the very instant. This very instant. But we're going to need them soon. Construction part twos are still... Well, we got 24 now. We have 24. We're starting to collect there. How's our ship doing? It's off at the oil rig. Okay, you can see under the in the fire right here. We got 20 construction parts. That's for repair of the sawmill, I believe. And then we have crude oil 1305. Let's uh load more. Now it says 1512. We'll let this guy sit here for a little bit longer. I'm still short nine workers. Uh let's see. Is the is this sawmill? Not even repaired yet. This is going to chew up workers too. Maybe I should have burned through all that unity like I did. Because now I want it. And I don't have it. In fact, we're negative unity. I wonder if it's the pollution. Hmm. Take a look again. Beacon's chewing it up. The oil rig's chewing it up. We have one boost somewhere. Groundwater pump. It just told me. Let's turn that off. In fact, we can save workers. We'll take the boost off and we'll pause it. We have plenty of water. This guy's short on unity. We may have to pause one of these to free up eight workers. We'll come back to it. We're almost done with pipes. That's the urgent thing we want research. It's a shame because we have a lot of parts here, but... We'll actually save some electronics if we turn off the lab for a bit. That will allow construction part twos to catch up. Iron still looks horrible. What is the deal? How can three excavators not be enough? They're chewing into some dirt. That's part of the problem. We do need dirt for the bricks, so that has recovered. <laughs> so, so that's a positive sign. Coal looks pretty good. Not having problems there. We did throw another excavator on that earlier in the episode, I guess. Tell you what, let's wrap it up here. We'll let this uh, just keep pushing forward. It says not enough unity. We're still in the negative on unity. Oh man, I can't believe it. So unity has become a little different than I recall. We're going to have to pay a bit more attention to how we generate it. Now that we have the research labs going and the offshore rigs going. So there is some stuff in the tech tree we can do. We'll look into that next episode. And then we'll finish up our initial little advanced diesel production. We have to route coal into our boiler. Looks like they're trucking it in now. And we need to... What else? I guess it's just deal with... The diesel. And then we have to flare off the light oil for now. Eventually we'll use that to produce steam, maybe even energy. So this is almost done. And we'll set up a storage array. This guy, I hope you're just waiting on construction part twos. Yeah. Yep. 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 I did not consider the, uh, the hit we would take from the mega rubber belt here, but that is saving our trucking. Oh man, this is all backed up with rubber. Look at this all the way. We can um, we can save some workers there too, and just shut off the rubber plant. We've got we have a ton of this. Look at all that rubber. Oh man, that's good. Plus three storage is full. We need more of these little guys though. More electronics. I'd like to see that belt backed up all the way to here. But yeah, we'll pick it up next episode for now. This is Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on Captain of Industry, one of my very, very, very favorite games. Love this game. Still learning the changes, though. I'm, you know, a little bit behind the eight ball here in terms of Unity, but we'll, we'll get it turned around. And uh, I will see you all in the next episode.